This video is just to help uh, somebody with the problem that I discovered that I didn't know where it was coming from. I, I did a little sort of placeholder image for my website and when I did the export the image didn't come out like it is here nice and warm and with nice tones. Let me show you what happened is I went export and let's say we're going to do PNG and I'm going to export this. We maybe put in the picture folder. I'm going to create a new folder and just call this tube. So that we know where we are working with. So this was image one. Okay, so I exported it, expected it to be like this with a transparent background. Um, when to go and open it and let's go here. Tube. Where is it? Tube. Here we are. Okay, so there I have the image. I'm going to click it open. I use Fastone to just do the previewing. Um, and there you see, when you see when it opened initially, it, it looked correct and then it had this kind of strange thing happening to it. And for the life of me, I went and I took the photo over from Affinity Designer to Affinity Photo to see maybe there was some, you know, tones or maybe there was an overlay of some sort. Couldn't get it sorted out. And then I started thinking about my background in, in video work where uh, cameras can actually take a, a image almost looking similar to this, very dull, and they add a correction LUT onto it. So I thought, oh, it must be related to the color profile. So I, after a bit of experimenting, I went back and went into the document setting. And this setting might have been modified by the fact that I opened a file from somebody else that had changed the color profile and it had sort of stayed in the program while I was working. So we went to document setup and if you get here you will see under the color tab so you have dimension, color, margins and so forth. Under the color tab you can see here this is where the error was. The color profile was this ROM which I don't particularly know what it's all about. Uh, the one that I know we often used to use is the sRGB. Okay so I go to sRGB and then I'll just say an RGB 8 over here, that will be fine. So that was the settings, said OK. It seemed to have done something here, but pretty much it just did a flash, um, probably to modify the, the color profile. But now let's go and we go and do an export. Same thing, I'm going to go export as a PNG. Let's just put this one here and call this one image to... Um, call it S is it S R G B so we know which one it is. So there I'm doing the export so let's go into that. So if we look at this they pretty much look the same. I'm going to open up that first one again and see what that looks like. It's got this dull look to it. Open up the second one and there we go. Corrected. So if you're having a problem where you saving an image inside Affinity Design or Affinity Photo and it's not like the picture that you're editing, make sure you go across to those profiles and I don't know too much about profiles so I can't really give more advice than just what I said now. But you can go check up a tutorial or two to go and understand what color profiles are all about. Um, the, the one time I did photos, I think that was in Lightroom, I had one of these settings changed and I processed all the photos, they look fine to me, sent it to the the lab to have them printed. They printed a whole batch and when it came out the colors were like totally wonky and I blamed the lab. I said I sent it to you and I showed them the digital thing on the screen and they didn't know where it was coming in. And I only found out afterwards when I did a bit of homework that it was the color profile which is the, the case here now. So if you are going to be doing processing of photos just make sure that your color profile is correct. Um, because you possibly might not see it in the edit window but when it gets exported that's where the issue might arise. So hopefully that's going to save somebody some unnecessary uh, issues with uh, colors of images as you're working, especially people who are doing things like portrait shoots and wedding photos and so forth. So hopefully that helps and this is just a short tip here. Yeah. Have a great day and God bless.